are starting out with this cheat meal. This gluten free. Yeah. Today we are going on a mission that is to find art for our apartment because um, we've already spent quite a lot of time without any luck. But today we have a lead. Actually, it was one of you guys who texted me the name of the website. It's called All Art Gallery mm -hmm. and they have like hundreds of art pieces from various uh, art artists. The plan today is that we are going to visit this artist's studio, uh, Anna Christine Diaz, and we're going to see the art she has. And then afterwards, we're going to the actual gallery that has the actual painting we are looking for. You can have mine. Really? Mm. You don't like Way it? Way too greasy for me. Well, I'll take this and... I went for a run yesterday, so... This is the wall that needs a beautiful painting. Right now the living room is still a big mess, which includes that... Um... It's getting picked up tomorrow. Is it? Yeah. You just sold it? Yeah. I find. But um... Let's, let's go! Another day, another risk. We are in Amadora. And this Cut. is where Anna, Anna, she has her studio. Before we go in there, we figured maybe let's talk a little bit about what art is for us. So Amelia, when she's buying art... No, she, no, 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 don't put no, words in my mouth because I... No, I'm, need, it's because from my it's, mouth. It's not true. I'm just saying the way I see it. Yeah, because you don't see it. Amelia, she bases what she likes on the colors if they match the rest of the room. And Amelia says that's not how it is. Fair enough, but you said right before the painting we're going to because look at that it's perfect the colors with the couch, right? Is that a problem? No, I'm just saying that that's one of the things you really appreciate. The only reason why we're gonna put it in that position... And Amelia, it's okay, it's okay. I'm just saying how I feel. No, you feel something about what I feel. Say what yeah. you feel instead, okay. because that was what we were feeling. Yeah. graffiti. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Graffiti. Yeah, you see, you know, it's also a full Okay, Amelia, what do you think is nice art? What are you looking for? I always look for art pieces that touches something in me and that reminds me of something. So, if an art piece can surprise me and can make me feel something like a strong feeling, and if it has that, I'm usually sold. But I mostly like deep colors and dark colors and... Amelia hate colors. No, I love colors. So we're going to get some uh, heavy metal uh, art on the walls. You like bright colors? I like colors, yes. And I think art should not be put in context with the rest of the living room or whatever. Who, who says that? You? No. Okay. <laughs> you see it again? Yeah, you see it us again. You see what you got from the Do You see it? You see it? You see it? You see it? Jeg bryder mig ikke om kunst med mange farver, det har jeg aldrig gjort. Du kan ikke lide farver overhovedet, for de vil heller ikke lide møbler, der er farver. Du kan generelt ikke lide farver. Jeg vil gerne have en orange sofa til at starte med. En orange, ja, sådan en, en brændt orange, ja, det, det er der heller ikke en brændt farver. Ej, det er der. This is what makes art great. No one agrees. It's 100% subjective. But not really. Not again. <laughs> what is wrong with our mics? The audio was terrible throughout our visit, so... We're here. gonna do a little voiceover for you. Are you ready? Let's go back. We went to her apartment, which also was a studio, and we met her and her niece. And they were both absolutely amazing people. Yeah, very kind, and we felt right at home, especially with the little bird. Which was her pet bird. Yeah, that is very unique. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, like the whole home was just decorated big with... big art piece. It's just art pieces everywhere. And I'm not sure the bird was a big fan of uh, the beautiful art because... Um... It wanted to be the center of attention <laughs> all the time. And that was kind of cute. What's his name? Oh. Joy. 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 But she started out showing us all her art pieces. And the latest series that she have done of arts is uh, from her trip to Auschwitz, the Polish um, ho city of horror. So she explained that the black birds they symbolize all the horror and all the death and torture down there. And the boy is innocence. And the deer is the victim. 
She also just did a project um, based on all the fires throughout Portugal. She wanted to shift the focus from not just the many people who lost their lives, but also the many animals. And as she explained, because she was a big animal lover. And here is another one from Auschwitz. And he looks like your father, that little boy. Yeah, that was so random. That's my father as a, ch as a child. <laughs> Even I was uh, very inspired by this painting, which is why I was also... Trying to be smart. Yeah, exactly. I failed as, as always when it comes to these kinds of things. And what's the girl? What's her role? Eu prefiro que as pessoas façam a própria leitura dos quadros. She prefers that people write the the painting like they want. They yes. Want. Yeah. I love this one. I could take this right now and walk away. No. Why, why? Why? It's just like the way it makes me feel. It just makes me feel like really um I'm really focused on it. It's like the only thing I want to be is right here. But um, the colors are they enough hotel for you? She also served some chinchinha for us, yeah. and that is a mood booster, so we obviously. Were, she was trying to get us drunk so we could buy her paintings. <laughs> this is one of the paintings that we really like too. It's from yeah. the same uh, project as the one that we have looked on online. Uh, and it's like a theme that goes again throughout the, uh, uh, many of her paintings that you have this mask. All of us have a mask sometimes. Mm -hmm. We do. Sometimes we are kinder than... Most, are. Some of us wear it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the ladies flying there. Wow. Let's go back because now the audio is better. Yeah. Hello. Oh my god, it's so cute. I want a bird. I... You are so cute. Do you, do you dare? No. no she... she doesn't like me. He likes me best. Until I have something with balloons, I love them. It's actually cool. Look at it. Sorry, I'm just having a moment here. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're at an artist's home when you uh, have a bird. What does the red balloon symbolize? Oh my god. Are you looking at art too? <laughs> I like this one, Jung. Yeah. What? Oh, so you don't hate me that much, don't you? <laughs> Hi there. Hi. So right now, Amelia, she just convinced me that this might actually be a very interesting um, painting. This is the way that society wants us to be. They want us to act in a certain way. Conform. And that's what this um, veal represents, that she has to get married. She has to do it. She has to look decent because that's what society wants of her, right? And this boy who is so joyful and so happy and so in love with the nature, he has discovered freedom. I think that's what makes me just fall in love with it, because that represents our lifestyle very much. But uh, And then then we're as well very uh, in, intrigued by this one here. That is for the, run, the runner up, or it's freedom and then it's also imprisonment um, in that a way. Was. We have to decide, Jon. It tingles in the belly. Yeah, it does. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's the perfect one for us. Obrigado. <laughs> Thank you for showing Obrigado. us uh, Obrigado. everything. Obrigado. It, it was yeah. a true pleasure. <laughs> Bye, Joy. Bye. -bye, Bye. <laughs> Thank you for your gift. <laughs> Whoops, Amelia. Amelia. <laughs> I think the blue one with the guy was the dream piece for our apartment. It was amazing and it, was just, it just touches something in you. But the painting that made us fall in love with her art wasn't there. So we haven't seen the painting that actually is important for the connection. So I think we need to go and see it. Maybe we like that even better, who knows? But yeah, that was very interesting to um, get into a, an artist's home and discover. All those beautiful yeah. paintings. Wow. That was an experience. Let's, Let's go. Uh, go to Chiado. Chiado. Should we drive there? We have to drive there. Yeah, it's more convenient. Yeah. Another risk, another day. Tiger. 
Still to sale, Amelia. Maybe we should put that on the wall. We are suddenly risking our insurance policy price by going to the middle of Bayreuth in rush hour. But so far, so good. And this is right here, actually, that the um, gallery is. Oh my god, there's a parking house here. That's amazing. It's only nine euros an hour. <laughs> I'm proud of you, honey. Painting by Alex Oh, hello, hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. She had both. Ah, oh, you, you have that as well? Yeah. I didn't know that. So I'm... this is not a Portuguese artist? No, though. Spanish. Yeah, Spanish, yeah. That is so cool too, though. I really like that. Yeah. This one we have looked at as well, and uh, I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. It is amazing. So this one was the one that made us fall in love with her work? Yes. <laughs> and this is actually painted back in her in apartment. Her, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I took a photo. Yeah, we saw like a photo. So you, so fun. They're just her husband and the mask is the only thing. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I we we have to think about it. I think I I had an idea that it was bigger. But it does look like a decent size when you put it on the wall. That's yeah. why I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's really cool. Okay. Thank you very Bye. Nice to meet you. It is such a big decision buying art pieces because you spend a lot of money on them so it's really important that they make you feel amazing. I gotta say the, the rapid one, the Anna Cristina Diaz once again made me feel really good. But also the other one is magical. What we, are we gonna do? We're gonna sleep on it and see which one we decide. What is gonna be on the wall? I have this thing, this idea in my mind of uh, painting that would be beautiful on the wall. I'm just gonna show you my dream. Are you ready? Surprise! Voila! We cheated you! We got you good because we did buy a painting. I think it's so beautiful and it really suits this couch too, which was not the reason we bought it. Maybe it's the reason I made you liked it. No. But it's a big bonus actually, and it's like when you when you take it up like this. Oh, it's perfect. The size is brilliant. That's what she said. This one really tingles in the belly. Uh, I can really see how it's gonna come together when we put a, a big lamp here and a plant here, and then the painting in the no, middle. Yeah, I made it enough it's with the, all the so ideas. Good. This is perfect. We don't need more. I just feel my egg. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Might we say that? Right now is when we found out that the audio has been shit all day. So yes. um, we are a bit sad. But apologies, we are still apologies, happy. apologies for that. Do we need any uh, more paintings? Yeah. We actually do. On yes. this wall, but let's just appreciate what we have. Now we just need the rest of the. I mean, we still don't have a coffee table. We still don't have a chair here. One step at a time, but and we are slowly getting there. Finally. We succeeded in getting an art piece and... Um, and I'm not sure how many we will get of these because it's too pricey for us. Yeah. So this vlog was different, but uh, we enjoyed it a lot, hey? And I think that the fact that we have an artist we love from a person that we've met is uh, quite unique. Yeah. And um, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Até a próxima vlog. Bye. Bye. One thing before you leave the YouTube. Remember, subscribe, save. smash likes up. It means a lot to us. Let us know what you think about our painting. Yeah. See you in the next vlog.